Well, hi. Um, we're down here in um, Gardner. We're going to do a walk around down here. We've done a few, but we're going to go up on some of the streets, take a little time here. It's a real nice, beautiful day today. Um, so we'll see what we got going here. We'll walk around. They're still working on the bridge over there. Uh, a lot of different work. Um, so we're standing right here in the uh, parking lot where uh, Hannaford is. And so here we go. Just take a walk around and just take some time. All right. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of narrating again. Um, give you a good idea of what it looks like today compared to what it used to look like so this parking lot and this Hannaford and stuff where you see where we're standing right now and this building up here with the subway and then the gardener apothecary up there and so forth um, at one time a long quite a while back probably maybe a little before I was born or maybe just after I was born um, this entire area and parking lot area you see now this actually used to be what they call the gardener dump there used to be a dump in here and over the years they built these uh built this in here so the hannaford you see now this one singular building at one time there was three three uh, places in here there was coddles and then over there was the Verdias, and then over there on the other end there was a uh, laundry mat. Over here, where you don't see anything sitting there, there used to be an IG, um, not an and Associated Grocers AG. And that building over there at one time used to be the train station. Uh, that they have like a uh, cannabis place in there now. And this other building over here where you see where it's like a Bailey's auto sales. I remember when they built that building and it was a bowling alley was built there. And that used to be a bowling alley. So we're going to head on up and just walk up this way. We're going to go up on some of the streets, get some hills to go up. So let's take some time here. So this building on the left, when it was brought down here and built, it used to be a lumber place called Walkers. Mostly here in this town of Gardner, the downtown area here has changed and have been rebuilt a lot. At one time where I'm walking right now, there really wasn't any road or anything down into here. Like I said, at one time, it used to be the garden the dump. And you can see we have a McDonald's in there and Emery's Meat and Produce. So this building here used to be Walker Lumber. We'll walk across here. Looks like they're still doing quite a little bit of work over here. Personally, I thought that they were going to work the other area and do that bridge first, but you can see where uh, 
they've got this equipment in here they got more equipment down here this here you can't even go down into right now because they they got it all cut off and everything but they're doing a lot of prep work right where that digger is is there used to be a pizza place sitting in here right up here but they had to remove it and it looks like they're doing even more work over on this end here so what we're going to do is we're going to head up this way That's where I do my tax returns. there's been a lot of changes there used to be a building that sat right here and this has just been all torn down recently used to be uh, a steel company and down further here there was the same thing uh, they'd been here for years and years and years and years now they got like a, I think there's a hospital down here a little ways uh, so these are some of the changes that have occurred Up here where all these buildings are and like the McDonald's we're gonna come up on and everything. Well, the building I just showed you down there where I call Walker Lumber, well this is where it used to sit, it was right up here. is looking up Highland Avenue. We're going to go up what they call Spring Street. So this entire area on my left here is where Walker Lumber used to sit. And that was that building I had just mentioned earlier. Now we have a McDonald's in here. We got a Cumberland Farms up here. So this used to be one big lumber yard in here.
we're going to walk up to the intersection thing up here. So these areas that I'm going to walk or attempt to walk today. So this is the intersection of the bridge that goes over into Randolph. This is the bridge between Gardner and Randolph. Well, everything you see here, including this uh, Rite Aid that's up on the hill, everything you see, all this area that is what it looks like now, years and years ago, back in the 60s and the early 70s, this did not exist at all like this. It just been totally redone. Uh, actually, at one time, this was a really big, high, steep hill. There used to be like a Shell gas station sitting like right where I'm standing. This area here would have been kind of uh, much lower to the river. Over there is an area in which the an Agway company used to sit. So this has all been changed out. The bridge is a fairly new bridge, well, in the last 30 years. So this all happened back in the mid 80s, or I'm gonna say the beginning of the 80s. And they had like every street, every spot, everywhere torn up so they could put the sewer system in. Now we have a whole sewer system that's been in here for 20 years, 25 years or more. The river no longer smells like sewer. It's, we don't longer put raw sewage in the river. So there's been a lot and a lot of stuff changed, especially down in this area that I'm standing now. Like I said, this was a big high hill. This building didn't even exist. And this is uh, for the Rite Aid. And they're doing more sidewalk work here. It looks like they got sidewalk. They fixing these sidewalks up. This is fairly recent. So we're gonna walk up on some of these you know, the streets here in Gardner. I don't know how much of a walk I'm going to do because it would take me a while to do the whole area. And we're heading up a hill right now. So as we get up here into the regular streets of Gardner, where you got some up, you got apartments and you got homes and everything everything you see up through here has not changed since probably before I was born they're the same homes the same places a little change but you're gonna see it at what it looked like 60 years ago They are fixing this sidewalk. These are the same homes, the same places that's been here for a very, very long time.
I think the last time there was any work actually done on this spot here where they're going to be fixing the sidewalk, probably the 1960s. <laughs> But you can tell, other than some refurbishing on some of these places, you can tell the age of these homes have been here for a while. Every, every little spot that you see these little flags, that's where they're going to put the uh, people have asked to have the um, natural glass gas lines put in. Because we, so almost every square inch of everything around has been dug up. And there's natural gas lines in these in the ground now it'll probably take them another 30 years to get everything done but out where I live in Pittston basically the natural gas line they brought in virtually encompasses my town of Pittston <laughs> but if there's a flag here it basically means people have requested to have the natural gas line brought in. So we're on Spring Street.
We've been going uphill all this time. So this area here would be like back in the early 70s is when these homes were put in. Okay, so this is just some of the changes that might have occurred back in that early time. So this, these are, you know, probably 1970s type homes. This would have been an area in which new homes were built. But not a lot up on these streets. Just little areas and that's about it. So, if you think about it, these homes, these homes have been have been sitting in here for a good 45, 50 years.
It's a beautiful day today. We've been getting, we've getting, we've had a pretty good run of weather here lately. The way the weather's been here in Maine, I'm thinking that we'll be, we'll be having weather like this at the end of November, which would be really nice. <laughs> So Spring Street turned into what we're walking on is Hillcrest Street. So this here, we're coming out on uh, what they call Highland Avenue, and this is, this is just a larger road that comes up and down. If I go up that way a little ways and make a left, it takes you down to the high school. We'll probably be going up near that pretty quick. I can say I'm only going to be able to do a certain amount trying to decide which way I want to go here and so we're looking down if I go back down that way it goes kind of where we just came from and I think I'll walk down here in a bit but we're gonna go over here we're gonna cross over that's looking up Highland Avenue So like again, all these houses you see have been here probably, I would say most of this, they've been here a long time. <laughs> they've been here probably since, since the 30s. A lot of the houses, they've been in here a long time. It's just that they've been refurbished up and stuff, fixed up over the years. People have lived in them and then sold them and then other people have lived in them so and the sidewalk i'm walking on now you can kind of plainly see it's fairly old but it was brand new probably back in the 60s So we're gonna walk up around here. What we're looking at here is this building in here, which we're gonna go down by in a little bit. It used to be called Prey Street School. It's right over there. I actually went to school there when I was in the fifth grade for one year. Anything and everything you see here, back, it wasn't here. This was just open field. 
and we used to play out here in the field and play baseball and stuff so all this new area you see here this is part of the high school now and this has been in here for quite a few years I think it's been in here for 25 years or more but uh, at one time when I was a young kid this would have been all field all field up here we're going to show you where they play the uh, where they play uh, football here now at the school we're on what they call Prey Street So right across there it used to be Prey Street School. I don't know exactly what's in here now, some administrative place. Um, obviously, the gentleman didn't know there was a human being walking by, but that's okay. I'm adaptable. So this here is all to do with the high school all this stuff that you see in here these were all open fields now it's now it's a nice facility they got in here so they do all these sporting events now down in here when i was young and they've really added a lot to the school they've added extra big buildings and everything so there's been a lot of changes in this area but all the houses are the same. And they got a track and field over here. They got a place for to do soccer and an area here where they play baseball. And I believe they do football in here now. I'm just going to go up here to the end. And you can tell this has been here for quite a while. It's actually starting to age some over the years. And that's how long this has been in here. But I remember when there was absolutely nothing here. They got paved areas you can walk through so we'll walk up through here a little bit you got a tennis court in here this is summertime so the school is out so there's a big white building sitting over here that was never there when I was going to school here I went to high school here the old building, uh, the original building is up here. So that's a, that's a new section there. Probably 10 years. Maybe a little less. I think maybe about 8. The brown brick building has always been there. That was the gym. And this was all open. There was nothing here but open field. As far as you could see up through here. And we used to just play out in the middle of the field. <laughs> But now they get all these massive facilities in here, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to take this route a little different. I changed my mind how I'm going to do this because it will work out really well. So this is basically is a new is a new facility here. I'm not sure if these are their shops now or not. I 
I'm gonna walk up through here. So this would have been all open fields over here. This is actually the gym I used to go into. We used to play basketball in there. They got outside basketball courts and everything now. I think I can walk up through here. With this building here, they might it might be closed off up at this section. So this is the gym. It's been here since this building that you're about to see, this section. This is the old part. This is this is the original school here. And the hallway that goes out to the original gym that they built. And this is what the school looked like when they first built it, right here. It's a type of school that you would normally see down in, uh, you would normally see down in, uh, down south. So we'll walk across here. I'm sure it's okay. And it's still a beautiful school. But this is where I went to high school when I was a youngin. And this is the gym. And we'll walk right under here. Out here would have been all open fields. This would have just been open fields behind the gym. Of course, this here would have been an open field. It would have been nothing here. This was all open field. I think this here is an extra section that they've added recently. It's got a music room in here. So we'll walk up through here. So this is the original school right here. This, when they first built this back in, I'm gonna say 1963. And they have some activity going on down here. Again, this just would have been all open field. I think it's great what they've done over the years. Now this is really great what they've done for the community over the years here. I think it's an amazing thing that they've done. Never thought I'd ever see see it look like this. But they're doing, uh, I believe it's field hockey. And this is the back of the building. These trees you see here, they were hardly very, they weren't very big at all when I first was uh, going to school here. But these are the classrooms. Mostly, these trees were just little tiny things. These have grown up like this since then. And you would just look out into a field here. So we're gonna walk up here. Like I said, I was gonna narrate a lot to give you a good idea, the perspective of what there is now compared to what it used to be back in the 60s and the early 70s when I was young and I was young once although I still feel young so this is an all new parking lot area here and I think they've really done a beautiful job here so we're gonna walk up here give you a good idea what the front of the school looks like I 
So they have, I guess, a lot of summer activities here now compared to what it used to be back when it was just this portion of the school and the gym. And I think it's great. So this square portion of the building is where all our classes were. This is where all the classes were that you would have in the school. I believe that new section down there is just shops. They, there was a low portion there and they removed it and they built what they got now. So this is the front of the school. And like I says, this, this section here this portion of the school here, which you see, and this here was the original structure of the school plus the gym out back. And it's called so that building there is where you'd be like electric shop you know automotive and stuff like that that's where they learn all that stuff And this here gives you a good idea of what the original structure used to look like. That's what it used to be. The one on the left, they just removed that and then they recreated that building. Because I guess it must have been fallen down. But this is what the original structure of the school looked like. You can see it, it's pretty cool. All right, like I said, I was, I'm gonna That'll take us back up to Highland Avenue. Again, these places have been here for a long, long time. Yeah, I really think that they've done such a beautiful job here. And you can see there's summer events going on and sportings and stuff. And I just think it's really nice. Good for the community.
quite a lot of activity for the summer. Yeah, all them trees have grown up to the size you see them since I was in there. I graduated in 1974, so... And the school was built in 1963. Again, all these homes and stuff have been in here for a long time. The newer ones have been in here for probably about 50 years. But the ones that are on the regular streets have been here for forever. I'm gonna, I think I'll just go down this way. That will take you just up above. There's a road down there, it's called 126. It goes from Gardner to Lewiston. But we're gonna walk on down Ash Street. Again, 
these homes have been here for a very long time. I think somebody's doing some grilling. Okay, so we're going to walk down here a little bit. I believe we are on what they call Harrison Avenue. And then we're going to walk back. You can actually hear Cabo Sicanti Stream to my left. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the camera. You probably can. Like again, there's these beautiful old homes in here on the streets of Gardner.
So we're coming up here on Route 126. I'm going to head back the other way here in a bit. <clears throat> uh, this is 126. This one here, this route here goes um, between Gardner and Lewiston. This bridge down here is a replacement of an old bridge that used to sit in here. A big green metal span that used to sit here. But uh, now it's replaced by this. It's been here for a while. I don't know, 10 years. I just wanted to come down here and uh, And this is Cobbacy Conti Stream. You can start from here and head up in this direction where the water is, and you can get all the way to Augusta by boat, or canoe, or whatever. Now this is the other side. And the water's running okay, but not like it was back during the spring. We had all that runoff, and it was amazing. It was amazing uh, waterfalls we were getting during the spring and uh, fall uh, back uh, a while back when we were getting all that rain. All right, so we'll come back up here. So, like I say, there's a boat launch up there a little ways where you can put your boat in. And uh, you can get all the way to Augusta that way. So like I said, we were on Harrison Avenue. We'll go back down this way. You can see the water a little bit there, but nothing compared to what it was this, this spring. I went around to different places. I got them on my YouTube site, and when I went to Rumford, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was just amazing. That was a beast. So we're on Harrison Avenue. This will take us back to where I started
when I went up through the schoolyard. Just give you a perspective where it says parking for Harrison Avenue Nature Trail. Because you can look down here. Some things. Uh, of course, when I was young, uh, there was not really no such thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much of a nature trail it is when they call it, but we used to just get down on the banks and be up in the trees and we used to dig old dumps down here on the side there's probably still plenty of stuff in there to dig uh, and I'm talking old stuff supposedly this is the nature trail that they calling it now we get a lot of this stuff in Maine now because there's been a lot to, to preserve a lot of things and so we got to this and so we're just going to walk right down here i have done this i have been down here many before this is not anything new for me except they got a little trail in here now <laughs> and ain't much but they cleared it up and they've got trees they planted in here on the side they made it kind of nice so Trying to get to a certain spot here. And it just loops around here a bit. So to my right is Cobbacy County Stream. The road over there is what they call Water Street. And I get some picnic tables down in here too. So this area here, how then? How can I? It's hard. It's hard to see it, but there's a there's a dam right down here, and this this water area right here hard to see well there used to be like a beach over in there a place where people could come down and they would swim it's what we used to call the oaks as far as I know there's a hole sitting in here that's like 40 feet deep and there used to be a big tree in the middle so we'll walk over here a bit See, this trail here, I think it will take you right down onto Water Street. Or it either ends up here. And it's not like it's a real trail. But here's the dam, and then, like I said, I think it was about, about in here. But we used to be, we used to swim in here. In this area. I could probably walk down there, but we're going to walk back up to the street.
So here's where the other end of that little nature trail comes out. It's not much of a trail. And they just put that in the end and set it up a little bit because it made it a little bit better for, uh, because people have always walked down in there forever, so. So we're on Harrison Avenue. We're gonna be going up here a little ways. And we do have hills here. Because it's a river town. And anywhere as you go, where the rivers are, you got hills on the side. I think it's right along here. This might have actually been the spot at one time. There was an old chicken barn in here that me and my dad tore down. 
because that was 65 <laughs> it was a long time ago and i think it sat right in here this is uh bamboo i used to gnaw on that stuff Got some music going on over there. I, if I talk, maybe it won't come out on my video and stuff. To not have a <clears throat> infraction. I think it'll be all right. Some of these are pretty, pretty old homes. They always need work. But they're tough old buggers.
That's Highland Avenue right out there. We're just going to walk up here. This will be a, like a full circle from when we started to go up by the school. And again, that's the Prey Street School. There's been some structural changes in the front, but it's basically what it was. Boys and Girls Club of Kendrick Valley. That's what they call it now. So there's our circle there, and we'll go down Willow Street. This is the street we came up on. We'll go down Fountain Street. This will take us straight back down on Harrison Avenue.
We're still on what they call Fountain Street. There's uh, several homes and houses in here. Uh, if you go over there, there's some houses over there. It's just a little area where there's not really any streets so much. It's just inlays where you can get to. We'll probably come back down this street here but I wanted to um, just come up here to the intersection This is where Harrison Avenue, Highland Avenue, and Winter Street come together. And this is down Harrison Avenue. Again, we'll just take a little short trip at the end. That's why we went in just down there. It used to be an old school right here. All these old brick building schools. <laughs> this building here is probably 150 years old. This goes back into the early 1800s. School Administrative District number 11. It's still part of the school system. We'll go back down some of these little side streets we didn't get before while I'm here.
So this is Highland Avenue. This will take you, I don't know, <laughs> from downtown Gardner, which is behind us a little bit, to uh, you follow this road, it'll take you all the way out to 126, out by Cobbacy Stream and Cobbacy Lake. Okay, so now that I come up here where we circled about Again, some of these old brick buildings you see here have been here for a very long time. Okay, so we're going to go up this other street. We'll go back and forth on these shorter streets for a bit. Clinton Street. So these are just a few short streets in between from when we went up Spring Street. Give you a little idea of what's in here. Again, these are just the older buildings.
and again this of course is the Kennebec River this is part of the Kennebec River Rail Trail down here but uh, right over in this section here there used to be great big uh, uh, there used to be great big tanks that sat over here for uh, it's a Shell Oil Company. So all this was is this whole area I'm walking into now. You couldn't come over into here because this was just a little thing so that few trucks could come over and get fuel out of these giant tanks that used to sit in here because now it's a big open area uh, got some really beautiful uh, walkway to walk on The tide is in. You always can tell when the tide's in. It's kind of pretty cool you can walk over in these areas now there's the Kennebec River Trail up there I think it basically just goes up there a ways and it stops like I say when we were real young you never could really just walk over in these areas we did but that's just because we used to walk all over Gardner <laughs> okay so what you're looking at down there is the bridge it goes between Gardner and Randolph Been a lot of changes in this town. Like I used, to, like I was saying before, this is all. Uh, this used to just be a big sewerage area until they did all the work and put the sewer lines in and went to every house in the city and everything else and uh, it took it took probably it probably took close to 10 years before it really got cleaned up now this river right here we have species of fish that haven't been up here in probably 150 years the sturgeons that come up in here now, they're huge. They're as big as they're as big as canoes, some of them are. They're so big. Uh, we have uh, catfish, very large catfish that comes up in here now. Stripers. You can get them at as much as three feet in length. They gotta be pretty big to keep them too. And we have we have Atlantic salmon that really pours up through here now. Back when this thing was a sewer, you'd get like suckers and and uh, stripers.
So we used to come down in here and walk down in these places, but you had to be careful because the bank, you'd fall off of them, fall in the river. But now it's, it's just this beautiful thing that they've done. Turned this into a beautiful park. I'm sure there's more shade and stuff in here, but They have uh, uh, little stripers that they uh, painted on the on the walkway. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? So. This very spot that I'm standing on, when I take and put my camera up there like that, that's part of the, that's part of the sewer system right there. They've revamped it up really, really good this time. They put in like whole big, huge holding tanks just recently. But that's part of the sewer system. My very spot that I'm pointing my camera to, and directly across there, this is where an old, this is where the uh, big old swing bridge used to be. This was where the bridge of Gardner, Goss, uh, Gardner and Randolph was. This is where it stood. Then they built this one. Right here. And of course we used to come down through here. Because it's a lot easier to do it now. <laughs> you just come down in here, right on this little spot down here. This is where Cobbacy Stream comes out to the Kennebec. We used to come right down here. We used to fish right here. This is where we used to catch our stripers and we could catch some big ones. And here they got 12,000 years on the Kennebec. I'm telling you, Maine has history that. You know, so the Abenaki people lived in the Kennebec River Valley long before the arrival of Europeans. The Alanova Kabasa, Kabasa Band of the Kennebec tribes from the Abenaki Indian Nation lived near the mouth of the Cobus Conte stream. Kennebec is an Abenaki word meaning long straight water without rapids. Kabasi Conte comes from Cabasaquintiaca, an Abenaki word meaning place of the sturgeons. You got some pictures of a sturgeon there. And so, like I said, this here was nothing like this as you see it. When I was younger. And so we'll come right up around here.
So here's more information here. Used to come directly across here and go across those railroad tracks. This is pumps. This is the number one main pump station. This is the view from the station. And so every once in a while you see these little fishies. These are the sturgeons. So this is what we have for the fish now. We got the white perch, the yellow perch, the pumpkin seed, nine spice, sickleback, black nosed, white suckers, banded killfish, and much more. There's a building right there, it's called the Garden of Feed that is no longer in use. I knew the guy that worked there all them years. He was a great person. He must have passed away by now, I'm not sure. He didn't seem like he was sick or anything. You could go get your chainsaws fixed there and everything like that, and it just looks like it's been burned out or something. If the stuff's still in there, it's, it's filled with a lot of stuff. And I think eventually you're probably gonna see that uh, torn down. So that's another perspective. This picture here, you can still see the old bridge where it used to sit. And that's for, uh, looking for Randolph into Gardner. And then of course some of the other older bridges there are what Gardner used to look like back in 1878. A lot of sailing vessels used to come up here. There was factories. There was ice factories. You can see, you can see where there was. It was it was a pretty busy little area, you know. Because nowadays it's just a basic bedroom community.
am going to use the crosswalk. See, there used to be a Domino's in here, but this used to be a bank. Well, what happened was, I guess they had an electrical issue, and it burned all up. And don't look like they've done much in there since. So we got the public library, 1881. This is a cool structure. This is uh, They say this road is closed. But I might be able to walk up there. Don't really know what they're doing on this road. Okay, so we're going to head up on this other side. I'm slowly wearing down <laughs> all this walking. Again, these have beautiful hills in here. Guess they're doing uh, sidewalk maintenance.
I guess we'll go this way. I'm actually walking on a sidewalk. <laughs> Again, all these really old, old, big old homes. Back during the days when the wealthy had all these areas. That's what these homes are. This is the other road I could have come up. Another really old home here. You know, for someone that's lived around the area and everything like that, historically, we don't really know a lot about our own towns. You have to read it or research it or, or something.
We have doggies. Well, they're doing some construction up there. That's where we could have come up, but I thought I'd go that direction. So, here's another perspective. Where I'm walking right here, this open area, with all this grass is and everything, well, Everything. <laughs> what? Everything. GoPro 7. What? GoPro 7. Uh, what do you take them for? I... I have a YouTube account. Mm -hmm. And... It's uh, bringing main roads and places to you. Oh, okay. So I'll bring, try to bring the state of Maine to people who are my subscribers. Uh, I get 65 so far. <laughs> and that's what I do, is I do walking videos, driving videos, and location videos. And where do you live? I live out in Pittston. Oh, okay. Nice. You know, so. Okay. Now I'll have to look it up. You want a card? I keep forgetting I got cards on me. Every time I meet someone and they're a little interested, you just have to put my name in. If you're a YouTuber, yeah, are you? I'll take a look. There you go. Okay. Well, right there. I do well, appreciate it. Uh, I'll give you the next one just in case you have a friend that might be interested. <laughs> you know, it always helps to get to get to get a few extra subscribers. Okay. Yeah. You have a good day. So this area right here, although it doesn't physically look too too big. This entire area, okay, used to be a, uh, used to be two structures that were in here. And they were schools, they were old schools. And I actually went to the school that used to sit here. And um, then there was another older school right next to it. My dad used to go to that school when it was a high school. But they're old, real old. And uh, this used to be the parking lot that the teachers would park in. But this entire area, this, this school was, had a, uh, had like an underground gym. Had, um, the bottom floor was underground, most of it, like 80, 70% of it was underground. And there was shops and stuff in there for, you know, wood shop, electric shop metal shop and then there was a gym it was further down it was like a, a big base and then the next floor up the cafeteria was a beautiful theater and balconies and there was two there was two more floors above that it was a beautiful structure this and then there used to be another old structure right next to it which we used to be the old high school and um there's an old cemetery right in here. We've been wanting to do this for quite a while. Uh, so 
so we're getting up where the park is we're going to do the park and then we're going to walk back down to my vehicle and we'll have to do we'll have to do another section up here there's a lot of streets to go up on a lot of places to see these are old graves all back in the early 1800s always can tell by these old slate style um grave grave markers right there in memory of jewel this is like these are all these are really old Young girl, age 11. 1799, she died. So these, these, these here go back, really go back a long ways. There's another graveyard up further, the bigger graveyard. But these, these are all, some of the really, really old, old grave sites here in the, in the town. I myself personally lived here all these years and never really explored this too much. Eighteen thirty-two, eighteen sixty-five. That is the year the Civil War ended. Seventeen ninety-seven. 1797 so these are very very old very very old seventeen ninety eight so it tells you tells you the history here in Gardner and there's even older graveyard over there well, when you live a different type of life and do different things and now I'm doing a lot of this exploring and a lot of research and history it's really surprising how much there is and it looks like they've been doing some fixing of the graveyard gravestones in here this is why it looks so good right now they've really done a lot of work this is what garden has been doing you can see where the gravestones over there need repair. Some of them are all broken up. I think some of them are replacements, but uh, they're trying to stay with everything that's natural. You can see these little things here. This is where the gas line's gonna come in. This is an old structure here. You can't really read it that much, but you never think about these things when you live a different life. I know, I'm rambling. <laughs> But, uh, so, so they've torn, they're tearing this road all up up here. So there's a lot of other streets and stuff to go up on and there's the other graveyard up above but I'm not going to get there today because I'm petering out. <laughs> this, is, this is Dresden Avenue. Got some really old, old churches up here. This is the Gardner Commons or the park they call it used to come over here when we used to go to the school used to use this as a racetrack and they're just doing so much digging everywhere 
everywhere you go just digging 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 this is all got to do with putting the gas lines in so this is the garden of commons all right the garden of park This here, they're doing some renovation on the St. Joseph's Church. That is an old structure, a real old structure. Like I said, there's a lot of these old buildings in here. I won't get to this section of garden today on the walk. I have walk areas, but And there's another old building and structure. They've just recently done some renovation on the playground thing over there. Every once in a while they'll have a a concert or something over here at the gazebo. They actually got the fountain running over here a little bit. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Not really a lot of people playing in the park today. It's a quiet day, it's a weekday. So this has been an improvement. This wasn't here like a month ago. <laughs> and here's us, they actually got the, uh, got the thing running. Kind of nice. Staying away from the water because
We have a lot of really, really, really old structured store, uh, churches here in, um, in Gardner. This happens to be another one of them. My brother got ma my brother got married here. Although well, he's no longer with us. There's more streets and stuff to cover, but I'm gonna head across this way. Yeah, we'll do we'll do that as part two someday. Um, Went to school with the person that actually runs this place now, Staples Funeral Home. I believe he does.
This is the post office. This is another really old building in the, in the town. And we're back down on Water Street. So, uh, like I said, we'll try, this is the A1 Diner, this has been here forever. This is an absolutely cool structure. They don't have to remove this to do the bridge when they get ready to do it. So, here's some major construction going on here. They, figured, they probably figured if they're going to put two bridges in, they might as well tear everything else apart. So we get to see a little construction going on. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but I'm sure it's probably part of the... <laughs> so you can see there how this structure is. It's the building behind it, and this is the restaurant part here. And then you can see underneath there, the metal structure. So when they go to put this new bridge in, they don't have to worry about that. They'll just take all this stuff out, put a new bridge in, and they'll be good there. I think this was a pretty good uh, aggressive walk for the area. There was other sections I'd like to do, but I think we can wait until next time. I have done a lot of walking. I've done a bunch of walking videos here in the town. Um, but I think this here is one of the more progressive and one of the better ones I hope that has come out. And now, we're going to head back down here into the Hannaford parking lot again. What used to be, many, many years ago, the town dump. So, I thought I'd give a fairly good perspective, like I say, the one it used to be years ago, in the late 50s and the early 60s, and then what it is like today so I think I've enjoyed this walk hope people will enjoy this video here once I get it up and going and like I said we're back down here where we started <laughs> 